All right, we're going to talk about Excel's frequency function. Uh, what it does is you it will count the it will count how many numbers are between certain numbers. Okay, so if we have different intervals, it'll tell us how many numbers are in each interval. So in this set of numbers here, I have 50 numbers here. The, the smallest number is 0 and the largest number is 39. That's something that you're going to want to figure out before you start using the frequency function. You're going to want to know the smallest value and the largest value and then kind of determine what you want to set your intervals as. Okay, so for the frequency function, we have two arguments we've got to enter, the data array and the bins array. The data array, that's the group of numbers. Okay, that's the set of numbers up here. It's these numbers right here. Okay. The bins array, that's the numbers that tells it which intervals to use. Okay. So what I'm going to do here in this problem, since I'm going from 0 to 39, I'm going to I want to know how many numbers are between 0 and 9, 10 and 19, 20 and 29 and how many numbers are between 30 and 39. Okay, so for the first number for the bins array, I'm going from 0 to 9. Okay? You don't enter in the 0 and the 9. You just enter in one number, the 9. The largest the for the first for the first bins array, it's the largest number in that interval. And then I want to know how many are from 10 to 19. So for the next one, see this one's looking up 0 to 9, so this one's going to look up 10 to 19. So I'm going to enter in the 19. So that's all the numbers from 10 to 19. See everything from 0 to 9 is going to fall in here. Everything from 10 to 19 is going to fall in here. And then what you think is going to be here? 20 to 29. Well, that's going to be 29. And then what about this one? Well, I don't enter in the 39. What this one's going to do is it's just going to put all the numbers that are larger than 29 in here. And, and, and that's an important point when we're dealing with the frequency function is however many cells you have for your bins array, you have to choose when you're entering in the frequency function, you've got to select one more cell than you have the bins arrays. So in this cell it's going to be how many numbers are between 0 and 9. This cell is going to be how many numbers are between 10 and 19. And this one's going to be how many numbers are between uh, 20 and 29. And then this last one, this extra one that we pick, that's going to give us how many are between 30 and 39. Okay. If you had, if say up here you're, you had a number that was say like number, like a 41 in here, well then you would need to enter in a 39 into this cell and then like this and then for your formula you would have to pick one more cell and then this right here would pick up that value of 41. Okay. All right. So let's see what we've got here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go ahead and I'm going to label these cells as the intervals. They're not going to be part of the formula. So I'm going to, I'm going from 0 to 9. Uh, this one's going to be from 10 to 19. This one is going to be 20 to 29. And this one's going to be 30 to 39. All right. Now, I highlight my cells, and I'm going to show you two ways to enter in this formula. One, we're just going to type it in. And then the other one, we're going to use the function wizard where we hit this uh, insert function. Okay. So first, let's, let's hit equals, and then we type in frequency, and you can see it pops up. So I'll double click it. And you can see the first thing it wants is the data array. So I'm going to select my data array. Okay. 
and I'll put a comma and then you can see the bins array is bold now and so now I'll choose the bins array and then I'll close my parentheses now here's a Im very important point here all right so when we're entering in this frequency formula it's an array function okay now normally when we enter in a function into Excel once we enter the function in we just hit the enter key so that's what I'm gonna do right now I'm gonna just hit the enter key and let's see what happens so I hit the enter key and you notice all it did was it filled in the first cell it didn't fill these in okay that's because this is an array function and in Excel when you're entering in an array function let me go ahead and type the formula in again I'll just do this real quick there's my data array comma my bins array and close my parentheses okay so before I just hit the enter key and you saw what it did alright now you notice notice the function up here how it's equal frequency and then a1 to j6 comma a8 to a, a10 and close parentheses alright so for an array function once you type the function in you have to hit control shift enter okay and you you hit the control key hold it down the shift key hold it down so now you're holding down the control and the shift key and then you hit the enter key while you're and it's all three of them you're holding down control shift enter okay and don't let go of the keys and that that's an array that's how you enter in on an array function and you notice the difference see how it puts these braces in the formula that means it's an array function <coughs> All right, and so that tells me there's 14 numbers between 0 and 9, 19 between 10 and 19, 15 between 20 and 29, and 12 between 30 and 39. Okay, all right, now let's erase this and let's enter it in using the function wizard. So we hit the function wizard and we need to go to the frequency so what I like to do is just click on that first one and then I'll just type FR real fast and it takes me straight to the frequency and I hit OK okay and so now it's asking me for the data array and so I hit this little button here and it collapses it and it allows me to select everything and then I can hit it again and then I click in the bins array now you don't have to click this no okay I'm not gonna click it I can just come over here and select it and it'll automatically do it itself and when I go let go of the left mouse button it pulls it back up now notice it has an OK button here but if you hit that OK button it's gonna be just like you hit the enter key so we can't we can't hit the OK button we have to hit control shift enter and then it it fills in this okay and so I mean you can see like I can take this zero and if I change it to say like 32 watch this this should go to 13 and and that should go to 13 and you see that's what it did all right so I hope this video helped. I uh, hope you'll check out my other videos. If you like them, you can subscribe. All right, thanks.